Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be unboxing my Christmas gift and this is probably one of the most beautiful item from my whole collection. I hope that you will like this video. And please also consider checking out my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, Black and Gold Style. Please also check out my other playlists. I posted quite a few videos about Cartier, Van Cleef and Arpels, Bulgari, Rolex, luxury tips and mistakes, Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion, Chanel bags, luxury shopping vlogs, beauty products and travel videos. I will start with the first item. Actually, I have no idea what it is. It was selected for me and I'm just gonna open up and see. I think it's going to be a perfume and actually I'm a huge fan of Hermes perfume. And I previously spoke about it in some of my videos. I shared the perfume that I love the most. And I'm very excited to check out what I have here. And I love the fact that the size is so small. It's easy to put it in my purse. The scent is quite refreshing. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. This is what I like. I don't like very sweet perfumes or very strong. I usually get a lot of compliments whenever I wear a mass perfume. And now moving on to Van Cleef and Arpels. And this is the receipt. I won't open it as it contains some confidential information. And I also have the dust bag. It's quite convenient and it's not very big. And also these are the care instructions. I previously showed it to you in some of my other vlogs. And there is also a certificate of authenticity. I also got a cleaning cloth. And this is the item that I got. I'm so excited. I was looking forward to opening the gift and I was so tempted to open it ahead of the schedule. But my husband convinced me to not to open it. Actually, I took such a long time with this item. I probably fell in love with it back in 2019. That's when I tried it for the first time. And I will try to find a vlog about it and link it down in the description box below in case you want to check it out. I was a bit worried that it will get sold out before Christmas. There is a lot of demand for VCA right now. But I'm so happy that it's finally mine. I don't have to wait for it. I'm not going to keep it in this box. I will move it to the dust bag that I showed to you just now. And it's also easy to keep it like that so I can bring it to the bank and store it there. Oh, I'm so in love with it. It's so beautiful. I feel like the camera is not showing how stunning this necklace is. It's just not translating it. When I look at it in real life, it just takes my breath away. It definitely does not look the same on camera. I don't know why. I feel like my Van Cleef and Arpels collection is getting more and more complete. At least I feel like I can style most of my outfits. Of course, I still want to add some more. I still have a few items on my wish list, and I also posted my wish list vlog, and I will add it in the description box below in case you want to watch it. I'm going to wear this Guillaume necklace and see how it holds up. And afterwards, I will record a review video for you guys. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider to do so. In one of my videos, I previously compared yellow gold guilloche with the pink gold guilloche. While they are both beautiful, I still prefer the yellow gold. But you can see it's so much brighter. Unfortunately, pink gold guilloche doesn't stand out on my skin as much as the yellow gold. Maybe the earrings would be better. I would have to check them out in real life. I'm still considering to add a pair to my wish list eventually. 
Another reason why I absolutely love 10 motif necklaces is because I can actually wear them as bracelets. For example, this one. I wrapped it around my wrist twice and I really like that look. It feels very comfortable and also Van Cleef and Arpels allows to add additional links. Van Cleef does it free of charge within the first three months since the day of the purchase of the item and I previously extended two of my 10 motif necklaces in white mother of pearl and in onyx. I only added one centimeter to each necklace and now it's very comfortable to wear them like that. Actually, these three necklaces are key essentials for me. The onyx I usually wear with the black clothes or with bright colors. The white mother of pearl I typically pair with the white clothes and sometimes with evening outfits. And I feel like Yosh I will also wear with black. I feel like I'm pretty much set with all these three. And I'm so glad that I ended up buying necklaces instead of buying two bracelets and connecting them. While it's a good idea, in my case, the bracelets are typically quite large and I have to reduce by so much. So I would either end up making both of them so short that they would create a choker, while you can easily adjust the length with the 10 motif necklace. I can make it as short or as long as I need to, depending on the neckline of a top or a dress that I'm wearing. And I also like the fact that you can connect two 10 motif necklaces and create a 20 motif. For example, here I connected them, but the clasps are not as obvious, which is great. And you can also wear it like that. It's so beautiful and even if I connect two different colors, they will look amazing. And that's what I'm going to do in the future and I will post some pictures on my Instagram account. By the way guys, you can also connect a 5 motif bracelet with the 10 motif necklace and it's going to look quite nice. So here I connected 5 motif bracelet with the 10 motif necklace. It's so beautiful. I like that length as well. And I also like the way it looks with the white mother of pearl. It's very pretty. And it also looks great with onyx. It's such a stunning look. And I'm planning to wear them like that as well with some outfits. I absolutely love that Van Cleef and Arpels jewelry is so versatile. And there are so many ways how I can wear it. Previously, some of you guys asked me with what kind of earrings I can style the 10 motif necklace and this ones would work the best with the necklace. Actually, initially I was going to get the necklace first, but these earrings were available in a store and knowing how hard it is to find this pair, I just had to buy them on the spot. I would also say that this pair of free wall earrings in a small size would also look great with the necklace. However, it's not as beautiful as the matching guilloche earrings. I just absolutely love this look and I feel like it's just such a perfect set. Also, I'm not planning to add anything else from guilloche collection because I feel like it's perfect. A pair of earrings and a necklace is just enough. I will not be buying a matching bracelet or a ring, otherwise it's going to be too much. But to that said, I actually purchased more items in White Mother of Pearl. I purchased two sets of earrings and a bracelet. Of course, I don't wear bracelet and a necklace together. I either wear a pair of earrings and a necklace or a pair of earrings and a bracelet. Also, I don't have a specific preference in terms of what earrings to wear with the necklace. I feel like both of them look amazing. And when it comes to onyx, I only have a pair of earrings and a necklace. But I'm planning to add another pair of earrings and I'm currently deciding between the vintage Alhambra and the Magic Alhambra. Both sizes are so beautiful and they are very flattering. 
It's very hard to decide between these two. I feel like they're both great, but I will only have to choose one pair. And at the moment, I think that vintage Alhambra would look nicer for a daily wear. Anyways, guys, this is it. I hope that you like this video. Please consider giving it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, Black and Gold Style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!